Breville is proud to sponsor The Mind of a Chef on PBS. My whole idea of running the kitchen is that anything that could be controlled, it should be controlled. And anything that can't be controlled it should just be left like it is. I think that having some limitations can be very, very good. Because if you have everything all the time, there's very little motivation to create something new and possibly better. The introduction to working with exceptionally good produce is a very big part of me becoming a chef. For sure, that's so important. It's like if you want to be alive, you need to breathe. I don't know how to run an everyday restaurant, but I do know what makes up a great dining experience. I also believe in not playing it safe all the time with everything you do because that kind of very easily turns boring. My first northern Fulmar egg. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to cooking this. We believe that this might be bordering on illegal, this little venture. For any creative person, whatever you produce is going to be the sum of everything that you have with you, what you've experienced and what you have around you. I might not know in which way it's going to end up on the menu. But chances are pretty good that one day it just fits. I think this looks pretty good. It looks almost like natural leg guys, right? Yeah. It's really difficult to know when it's right by trying to figure it out. But you feel when it's right. You can feel when a dish like really sings to you, you know, when it really, really works. If I stand in the stairwell, looking up over the dining room, I can see when a dish hits someone that way. You don't make much money, you work a lot. You have to share your passion with new people every day, which can be very exhausting. But to me, that's the whole point of it. That's like the, the upside, you know, that's the good part.